We can stop right the video. That's good. Does that count as? Okay. At, at what time? Is or I call the meeting to order. Here, right? Because it moves. This is when they did this. All right. A long time ago. But this is would be interesting. And the jams were two feet lower. The jams, according to this, was Fuss and O'Neill this study a long time ago. The jams were two feet lower. The old jams. The old jams. Yeah, you don't know what they did now. We don't know what they are now. Well, but... the problem is, though, it's definitely the funnel effect is the jams. Yeah. Of course it is. Because right now, the, the... what did we say? Oh. What did we want? What do, you, what do we call those things on the side? I call them an overflow. Oh, weird. Weirs. Yeah, but I'm saying I think. Um, what well, we call it? Meeting. Well, the, but, so now I'll call the meeting, meeting of the Bantam Lake Authority to order at 602 on Tuesday, September 5th. Members present Peter Longo, County Charlie Scott Pobegger. Did hear from Mike Cicchetti that he would not be able to make it. Hoping that others are going to show up. Did not hear from Matt or Tim. Um, part of this. Um, why don't we? So, the next thing was on the agenda the June meeting minutes. Let's bang through those really quick. Well, I don't, I wasn't at the last meeting. So, we should but, pass on that for right now. That so, we don't have sure. minutes really. But when we record, does that the same as having minutes? No, we can use those to take from, but no, I don't think so. Um, so, why don't we move on to, um, was it old business first? The agenda. Sorry, go ahead. Here, Couple of minutes. Yeah, so we can't do that right now since you weren't. Just wait. Um, but old business. So let's continue our conversation about the jam. So Connie, we did meet with Raz, the, the engineer. Yeah. Um, right. Yeah, there was a picture in the paper. Yes. Was, wasn't Denise? Yeah, right but we. There too? No, this was another meeting. Oh, okay. we, this, this is the follow-up meeting. Good. Follow on after that. So. I mean, it was an interesting meeting. I don't think a lot came out of it, but one is they were more concerned about safety than volume. I mean, the guy admitted to that. And so in terms of design. Um, so they really believed their scope was to make it safer and easier to do boards. So they made shorter boards. Yeah. Um, I guess. But, yes. but don't you feel that it's smaller than what it used to be? Yeah, it's, it was 22 feet. Yeah. On the big side, it's 14 feet so now. Yeah. But I had thought that too. But I'll tell you, the pre-sign the lake levels are still like over, you know, the uh, Naugatuck cottages. The lake was still yes, over their docks. Was. I know. But you go to the jams, all the boards around, it, it wasn't really flowing. So, I mean, kind of, we literally had maybe four inches of too high. No. The jam. No. Well, I I don't know. We don't know the end. I don't know. I'm for I mean, so the one, so the one thing, Connie, that, I wanted to talk today about was just to get your thoughts on it because it'd be a process. My concern is we're getting close to the end of the season. You know, it's like, and I think there's agreement that we have a constricted funnel. Correct. That by the bridge with all the weeds and everything. And it's just now not also now we got a sediment issue, but you know, I said to Peter was if we got the permit and we were able to hire a weed harvester just to make a swath from basically that cove. I think that's what's doing it. But it's so interesting. It, it, See, it's got to be because, like I said, the Naugatuck docks were over were underwater, and you go to the jams, and the jams were not flowing. So it, you know, we can. I was arguing that the fourteen foot jams. I agree; those definitely made an effect. But right now, the impact is this what we call funnel effect. Is that the water? Is that you're backing up of weeds? I guess that, that's all it could be because county. If the well, everybody's complaining about it, but but we had ten times more water than we've ever had season. I had I should have had yeah. it. I had a map, you know, of it. But where does it go? It doesn't go down there. It goes all over. Yeah, but even I mean, even the fact that we had a very wet July. The fact is, is the lake would drain. The lake comes up, but it would go down. It's just usually, not going it, down. Usually, it's not going down. And it's not it's going. It's not. And I always thought, well, geez, those fourteen foot boards are amazing. But you go to the boards, the water going through. So where the heck 
it's being it's it's plugged up somehow. It's got to be plugged up. I mean, so we went down the river in the boat, and there's n no trees or anything holding anything back. I mean, he, obviously, it's a lazy river. I mean, there's so many wines. We all know that. We're not going to be able to fix that. I do think that's building up some sediment, which is not helping. But, you know, you start at the mouth of, you know, the outlet at, right at the lakeside with all the lily pads and all the weed. I mean, that's got to be doing something to, like, slow things down. Sure. At the jump area. Yeah, the jump area. You know, I don't know what else it could be. So th that's well, why I wanted. You know, I, I I did mention to Solitude, who you know we yeah. know him, and I asked him to think about what to do. And then you know, Larry comes every two weeks and he tests. We don't have any. I think Jamie used to see how high the water was. Mm -hmm. Simple he thing, did. just a, a just a thing we paint ourselves. Yeah, we don't have anything now because he took it out. Yeah, yeah. but do you think it's solid the South Bay? So no, yeah, in South Bay. Remember, there's nothing going out of there either. Yeah, but do you think, in terms of solitude, I mean, gain a price from him just to like, I mean, if we did a test swath or something in terms of whether it's forty feet wide, just to see, I love direct him. shot. I could ask him. I mean, he. I mean, what what would a weed harvester? So, right? He has the harvesters and all those, but what we did before, we used um, suction harvesting, and uh, there's, that guy is no longer in business so to just, get all the weeds out. But that was just for the uh, chestnut. That right? was for the fan wart, remember? Yeah. But I, so I mean, so my only thing was, that I'm looking at this as kind of a test, like because right now we're just grasping it. I feel like we're grasping at straws a little bit, like, but if. Depending upon how deep the weed harvester can go, got to do a better study, huh? I mean, if the You're lake right. was high <laughs> and the jams were, and the jams were the problem, it'd be flowing over the concrete and eroding the sides and everything. But the problem is the lake was high, and and what's going out the jams are like four or five inches of water. Yeah. So you can't, you know, you'd love to blame it on the jams, but the fact of the matter is, if the jam, if the jams were the problem, it'd be blown over the cement. If you don't really worry about erosion on the site, none of that. We did worry about the that. water never even went up that high. Yeah. On the other hand, but just no, it hasn't. But I know. Despite that, the freaking lake is high. It's like this weird phenomenon. I don't understand. It is weird. Yeah. But I just was, you know, I have no idea what the kind of cost would well, be. Well, I think like, we need to also get some some way of knowing what the elevations are. How hard is that? I mean, Lance Loomis once got one and we stuck it in over there by the outlet, inlet, outlet. Inlet. That's all we need. We need to see what the what the heights are of the water. Yeah, I mean, we. So that's why it has a lake at eight ninety four. You said. Well, that's what this was a long time well, ago. That, yeah, that, but that's what they call. The, yeah, that that's in, actually we should look at that ourselves. That's got to be nominal, right? The lake moves around. Probably. Yeah, but okay. So lake, but what was the jams? I'm just the curious. Jams were supposed to be. Then it was eight ninety two. Wow, not much. Am I reading here? I, I took it from the map. I have the yeah. map at home, but yeah, eight ninety four is the lake level, and that's what we use at inland wetlands. Wow. So, I mean, if that's really the case, let's just say for argument's sake, if it really was eight ninety two and the lake level is eight ninety four, it would be coming over. I mean. But that's not much of a drop over like that distance, and then all of a sudden you're getting. There's not that much of a drop. You're not getting the yeah. The, you know the, the, the velocity, right? Yeah. Exams were always put in the wrong place. Yeah. You know that, right? Yeah. But <laughs> the spillway is eight ninety six. What spillway? Where the CLNP thing is. Remember the electrical plant. Oh, way down it's there. First light anyway. Eight ninety six. Yeah. And what's the jams? Eight ninety two. 892 goes up. Hmm. But, I mean, I, yeah, so I think, I mean, the only thing, I think that's the only option is try getting rid of some of those weeds. I mean, I, I don't know what else to tell you. It just to me, it's. I mean, I just feel like if we can get a, a price. It didn't help us when we took the weeds out from the river. Well, that's the end of it. I would see. Oh, but remember last year, everybody was complaining it was too shallow. Yeah, it's too shallow. Maybe there's too much sediment in South Bay, too. I mean, I'm, we're all just yeah, making yeah. jokes, but who knows? Well, yeah, I mean, I'm just trying to like, okay. I know. Sort of process of elimination. Process of elimination. I know. 
because my concern is because the water's not flowing down the river, we're going we're gonna to start getting a sediment buildup, you know, more and more, and it's going to narrow, and we're going to be in even worse shape. I just feel like this is a, this problem is not going to go away. I said some of that meeting, I was dismissed, but I'm still... The 24 foot long boards create a siphon. Yeah. I mean, they would create volume. Yeah. They said, no, no, but still, you know, they're, they're going to help pull, right? Because you got more out, more yeah. volume. You close that up. Yeah. And, and you get oh, sediment yeah. and weeds. Well, and the other side really isn't, I mean, there isn't much water moving on that other side because they, that island that's there. And did they ever put riprap in? No. They don't need to. Water never went No, they never need to. No, they should. But, but it, helps, it helps about the sediment. Yeah. So it would hold it back. Yeah. So why don't I talk to them? See see if they can come up. I think they were out here this week. Well, I mean, it'd be great if they could because I, you know. Well, they're the right people because you need to get we need to get permits. I wonder if they can fit under the bridge. I would think so. From the other way. I don't, I don't know. I, don't know I mean, they wouldn't be able to go all the way. I mean, I'm just looking at like if we can, if we could clean the weeds to the bridge from the jump to the bridge from the jump to the bridge, basically, you know, a 40 foot swath that looks pretty straight. That's gonna you're gonna be able to tell pretty quickly if you're Are you starting to see about the area by Point Folly, the it's other side of Point Folly. The, yeah, you know the yeah on North Shore Road, the bridge as you drive over where you right, can see and the jump. So you're talking about this side. Yeah. Well, that was where we did a lot. That was the first place the fan war was. Maybe that's part of it. I don't know. I mean, your the drone footage was just a little grainy. Like, I, you know? I put it in the back. I should, he, all they needed to do was still pictures. Yeah. Because I just feel kind of like if we can just do a test of like that area. Good. I mean, I'll, listen, I'm going to call Larry. I have no idea how much it is. See what they say. First, listen. We had a grant for it. It, caught, it was seventy five thousand dollars to take the fan ward out of that area. That's we got a grant for that. Yeah, but I'm just, we're talking about just like doing a test just to see if it moves some water. Like I'm looking at like okay, there's permeating everything like that, but it's like a one day thing. Is. Yeah, Larry is a hydrologist, no, right? The hydrologist too. No, no, no. No, but he can get all those people. He's got the whole staff. He, see if, he, if he hasn't been out yet this week, we can He's be coming with. next week. Yeah. He's coming this week, Larry. Okay. He's out Thursday. I'll get him back this week. If, if When yeah. he comes, I'll let you yeah. know. Yeah. And then we could talk to him. The good you know, news is his partner is a specialist in land trust. He knows all these land trust people, and we need their help, too. So that could work. Could he work. come out because I like to get a second opinion because you know I the guy go. we had out there was hired by Raz. You know he knows Raz's position, and so you know he wasn't really all right. I don't Are you around? Totally yeah, this week. Yep, I'm, I'm, I'm trying to call. And around rest around Friday. I'm, this week. I'm around the rest of the week. Not Friday. Thursday. Oh, I'm I can do Thursday. Not here either. I can do Thursday. Let's try for Thursday. I'll call him because he's been trying to get a hold of me. There's some grant money available. So see if he has a ask him if he has an elevation instrument too he can bring out. I'm gonna ask him. He's got some new tools that we were talking about. Now I spoke to um somebody from the DEP this week. He's the one that helped us get that grant for the you know the watershed. He only deals with watershed. This could be possible. Mm -hmm. And there's th there's money for this, not for alum. But there's money for this kind of stuff, yeah. so we'll see. Oh, it's definitely the water. I'm going to I'm going to jump subjects and tell you both. I wanted to get a meeting of the Bantam Lake Watershed Task Force again because it sort of fell apart. Yeah. And I talked to HBA, the Houston Valley, which would be great to get them on board. Yeah. I'm trying to get them on board and maybe take it over. They got the they got the people to go and do all that. We don't. It's it's too hard. I mean, we're getting all the information from Woodridge, but it's a whole watershed, and they need. I mean, I just heard something about I from her. Remember, they were going to have all this money, White Memorial, to do um, the golf course. The golf course. They couldn't put it to. They couldn't. White Memorial couldn't figure out how to put it together and do the fun. I don't know why they didn't call us. 
So they passed and they're doing a small project instead. You know, hmm. too much. DEP is a big problem. They've got, they fired, a lot of people are gone. There's no people doing things. That's why we lost the permit. You know, they, maybe you don't know this. I can, now I can tell everybody. I didn't want to say it until after the summer was over. They lost the permit. For they, the uh, somebody at DEP for, did not file a request with the EPA for permits. So the only permits available in the whole state for the summer were any pro build anything over 80 acres. We have a permit for the for the river and a little pond. We couldn't treat the lake if we wanted to. So we were right on the cusp by to be a red light last week, but we made it yellow. Next week it'll be definitely red, but people will be well, I can't do anything. Hmm. Can't treat any, even the weeds, weeds or copper sulfate. We couldn't do. Nobody did. The whole state. That's because they lost the. They lost. It the, should be a lawsuit. No, but they lost the permit. They forgot to refile it. This is not just for our lake, for the whole state. For the whole state. Wow. Wow. <laughs> Unbelievable. Hmm. Uh, well, um, I wrote, so I wrote gonna, to the senator about that. So you're going to check that? Uh, I will that, check with him and I'll get back to both of you. Now, I know this is not everybody's favorite thing. This is what Warmog did for surfing. Uh, okay, take a look. This is what. Yeah, that doesn't surprise. I mean, this is I know in the lake and knowing some of the players over there, this makes sense. Yeah. This is a proposal? Or this no? is one I put together for our lake. Based on what we're so the blue is so. I mean, I they're different. Than us. Yeah, of course. This hasn't gone to anybody. So what's the yeah. blue? Oh, Three hundred feet. He, cr he cranked it in yellow. What's the yellow was? That's already one fifty. That's a law. That's a law. So you cranked it to another. Next cove is a law. The other cranked is... it another one fifty or another 300? three hundred. Three three hundred. From one fifty to three hundred, not yeah. four fifty. Yeah, not additional. <laughs> No skiing or wakeboarding? Yeah, I mean, the Camp of Washington, that's going to be like... I know. Why do you have no skiing? Skiing's not a problem in South I, That's just the way they wrote it. I didn't write it. Oh, okay. so well, Larry helped well, me. Larry no. helped me write it. We could say something different. No, it should be no wake... No wake boat. No wake... What's the word? No what did, wake ski? No, wakeboarding, I think. What did they say? Well, wakeboarding, but they it's really... It wake surfing. Uh, yeah, wake surfing, but I'm saying... You got I would it. say, yeah, no wakeboarding slash wake surf because both of those create large. Yeah. Well, I mean, I was in front of my house today. Somebody was just by the cow and the calf. The boat goes up and down. The dock's going like this, even next door. Just because it's so high, the waves are astronomical. It's bad. Yeah, the water, though, I wouldn't say it's high anymore. I'd say it's a little bit above normal. It's a little above normal for right. this time but of if year. It was, yeah, two weeks but ago, I'm yeah. just saying. So I, I would change that to no, no, no wake. No wake No boarding? wake surfing slash wakeboarding. Wake yeah. surfing. Slash okay. wakeboarding. Yeah. And wakeboarding. If you guys are okay with this, the next step is to send it to the DEP. See what they say. Yeah. We we'll write an ordinance. But, I mean, where's the ordinance? That's, that's, There's no ordinance. Yeah, but who has the power to write an ordinance? We don't. DEP will write. Will write it. We have to write it, but we have to show them first. Mm -hmm. That's what they tell me. I don't know. Am I? I, I am I chasing scene. windmills here? Probably. <laughs> well, I think you got the water scene's got to stay on. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Because. We need Matt to come around every morning on Sunday. Well, yeah, there's no. Uh, yeah. No, you got to be the skiing. You got it, but those wakeboards. So boats, on that thing, the Lake Warmog, is that a state ordinance or is that? Just... They have it has not been passed. It's up with the state right now. They wrote an ordinance and it's with the state, but they didn't do anything. Nothing happened. Probably never will. Well, the hardest thing is obviously the enforcement part of it. Well, yeah. Yeah. You know it. Even in Nick's Cove. To be honest with you, though, Connie, I don't see a lot of wake surfing in South Bay. Or wake. I yeah. saw it today. It's mostly knobs because I was. It's with, the boats, though. I was in. I was wake surfing with Alec one day, or I was leasing his boat, 
the minute he w entered South Bay, the freaking wave dropped from like three feet to one foot. Wow. As soon as you hit the shallow water, it's a, I, I could not believe. Really? Yeah, the boat, the characteristics. Oh, yeah. It yeah. just, it, so I don't think you're going to get a lot oh. of Because when I drove the that his boat at the ski show, he was like adamant that it's far out because in terms of just wake size and everything, the wake size. It's amazing. He's like, he's like, really wanted to be in like 12 feet of water with that boat. Wow. Yeah. As soon as we hit, uh, like right around Grillo's house, you just saw the wake drop. Wow. So I don't really, I mean, Maybe I think not. you could put the ordinance in, but I don't see it. won't it. mean anything. The bigger ordinance yeah. is getting more, I'd say more than 300 feet away. I'd make that fire. Yeah. That's what I, I would change the 300 oh. to five. That's, I think. That's my, where it is. Got a bigger impact. Because I don't, I don't ever see anyone wake surfing in South Bay. Honestly. No, I think Peter, you're right on that. Everyone's <laughs> distance from shore makes a huge difference because of how much the wake can dissipate a lot more over 500. They've feet. got a big. They've got a big study with hydrology underwater cameras and all this stuff. But like, well, they could do whatever they want. They got so much money, but they show so what I would do. It's really you could. What I would do, I would I would make that 500 feet. Okay. All right. I'll, I'll purple, purple. follow it up with the ordinance. I have somebody working on the overlay too. <laughs> okay. I'm trying to do that. Peter, you around since nobody else's, maybe this week we could swap out that one buoy. I raised it again, but it's sunk. Yeah, something. Yeah. I'm well, I think what it is is the tops off of it. Nobody's listening to us, are they? No. I'm gonna call Larry and see if he can meet us. Is is the afternoon okay? Four thirty? Yeah. Five? Because he I can do any time during the day with wants, enough notice. He, he can't come. Okay, that's fine. Four thirty. Yeah, that's fine. We see on Thursday. Thursday, four thirty. I got a four o'clock meeting, but I can do it at that. Five o'clock. Yeah, I mean, even five thirty doesn't matter. I mean, later actually works better. Larry's got a guy that works with him, um, who works with all of the um, reservoirs. And water so mm -hmm. he's got a staff of people that can do this he worked on the original sediment study of the lake i just found it 1980 very interesting okay yeah so let me just see if i can pull He's just, it's his voicemail. I'll confirm it with okay. everybody. It would say 530. Yeah, whatever. Or should we meet him? Probably at, at the, the uh, club. at the, or no, at the jams, probably. At the jams? Well, I don't know. We're, the jams are the bridge? The bridge is the best spot. There. Is, are you talking about the bridge near North Shore? Yeah. Yeah. Five, the new bridge. Okay. What, or we could just park it, you know, at the. There's a spot, there's a spot to park there at the bridge. Yeah, there's a, a perfect a lot of people kayak there. See, if we had done it, if they had done it like we wanted and put this thing in down by the bridge itself on high road, perfect. Hydraulic would have worked. This is stupid. But I wanted to tell you that I read, did a little research of these jams. They go way, way back and they go back to when they were making, they needed the lake to be built up with water because of the ice. They used to make ice and take it down to New York. That's when they first started it. Oh. Interesting. Mm -hmm. I mean, the jams itself, I mean, it's, it's a, it, we had an old antiquated system. They definitely modernized it. It's much better, but they should have done 24 feet. What we said. I mean, it actually was, it, it actually is the, they could have done two 14 foot or whatever, two 12 foot sections. Well, that's what he said. He, they could have easily done a center island for us. Yeah. And Two like 10, two 11 foot and pieces on the side. So, but, but hindsight's 2020 at this point. I mean, he did say we it could be modified and everything, but that obviously should be costly. So, I do feel like we just got to, but it was called a re remodel, wasn't yeah. it? Isn't that how it got to be that way? So, well, they didn't even, they didn't overhaul them because they made them smaller. They actually reconfigured. 
That's yeah. right. They reconfigured for safety, and they didn't really should have talked to what, some Remember of them. all the time we put into that theater? That guy? Yeah, that was... What was his name? Yeah, over. Yeah. He was good. We had this great idea we were going to drain everything out through the no man's swamp. We've been... We've been all around. That would be big. Remember? Yeah. All right. Until, uh, so hopefully Thursday. I'm not going to write too much of this up. No, that's fine. Oh, <laughs> we don't have a point. Well, I think anymore. I think you need you could write the fact that we're still you know we're, we're still just concerned yeah. about it. Discussing the the drain love the 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 the, the lake's failure to drain. Yeah. Yeah. It just doesn't drain yeah. like it used to. I mean, given that we've had those jams out since July like second. I mean, old days we used five inches easy a day. Yeah, you, you put them back. Was in. it high by your dock? Hmm. Was your dock underwater? No, mine. So you're up high anyway, but yeah, but it was right up to the top of my wall. But now it's down like three feet. I mean, it's down to like a decent level. I mean, normally. How long did it take? Since July four, to get where it is today, I would say it's a normal, a little bit above. Well, now today's a good level today. And it was July 4th we took those. Wow. And we haven't had a lot of rain since then. Since, I mean, obviously July was wet, but I mean, so. The whole month of August, it didn't do anything. And it's just, this is this, this is this issue that I just can't figure there out. There was a lot of rain though. Yeah. Even though it seems like we didn't have, but yeah. the numbers show a lot of rain here. Yeah. It's just the flow. I mean. It's just the flow. You know, because we have so much so much video footage of you know. So on the other, up, but on the other hand, dams not flowing. coming into the lake too. You get possible. beaver dams. I mean, you, you you could, but it doesn't seem abnormally. You know what they did like on East Tour? That's much bigger now. All that water going in. You yeah, saw where they brand, did that? That's brand. yeah. But we don't have the water going out. It, but it's not going any place. Yeah. Dude, there's some. It never there. went over the road. On 209. No. no. Wait for a hurricane, though. Remember? Wait for a hurricane. What? Well, yeah. I have, the picture, I have the picture of the October, that was a 2012 or something. It was bad. It was bad. Yeah. It could happen. We might have it again. The jams. Yeah. So, all right. Let's see if we can get it done fast. Yeah. So, yeah, no, because, you know, between any kind of permanent or anything and then cost. I mean, I don't know. This is something like, I mean, this, I mean, this is something Banner Lake Authority ends up. We, we've got money and you've got money. Yeah. We, we, we have money. But the protective But the town should have it too. I don't think protective association. This is not. Their... No, this is not in their belly. This is more Banner Lake Authority. It like, is the authority and that's the towns. Yeah. Both towns. Yeah. Frankly. So, yeah. They get split out one. Um, so, all this is so, back to the, Treasury. So you reached out to them and just waiting to hear. Yeah, very. I sent in. I had to send it. I did one for the Protective Association. I bought Treasury bonds. I did it for the ski club. You know, within minutes, I was up. I did it for the authority, and it came back and said, you know, they created an account for me, but they said you have to fill out this form. It's a certification by a bank. So then I went to visit the bank, had everything signed, sent it in, and it's been months. I think that the old, because I called the bank for the 06 number here, the EIN number for authority. Oh. They gave me one. I think it's old or stale, and that's, I think, it's causing the problem. Because it's from the two towns? Maybe. No, no, it's just, I think, an old, uh, old stale number that wasn't being used. Number because um, we have $111,000, $112,000 sitting, and they got zero income. I'm going to call the bank tomorrow and say, listen, either do something or it's blowing the money. Yeah. Put it in another bank. Yeah. Yeah. You have just to threaten them. You don't, you That's can, what people say you got to do on these banks. Can you put yeah. it in another bank? If you I want it? It's painful. Process. Yeah. It's, it's just a process. Yeah. Yeah. I'd rather, I'd rather be in Litchfield. Yeah. I yeah. That. Don't bother. Okay. So I'm going to call them and threaten them. I said, this is bullshit. We're pulling the money or you do something. Where does the town bank, the town union? union? That's why we kept it there. I see. Well, this is that. But we never did. We we booked Bantam like protective. We're always been at the other bank. Litchfield. Yeah. Not, they don't give shit either. But so I took we have a, I took well, you know, I took a bunch of money out. I took a hundred thousand out and put it in treasury books. I know. And I did the ski club. I, did I still remember ski club. We got the number six oh oh one two oh seven hundred. That's our number. <laughs> That's a long time. Okay. 
All right, I'll follow up you, with you okay. as soon as I hear from him. Yeah, that'd be good. And I'll see if his, uh, the guy that works with him might be a good resource to be there too. Okay. Anything else, Pete? Fortunately, it's the best way you do. We got to do things ourselves. Well, no, we're going to have to for a while. Yeah. Kind of frustrating. Anything else, Pete? Yeah, I have something I want to, you don't have to, we don't have to talk about it, but just take it with you. I think um, we need a winter projects. We, I call this the Bantam Lake No Authority. Not the Bantam Lake Authority. I mean, it's frustrating, right? We have, we have. Um, yep, I agree with number one. This is great. Well, we talked about. I like all of that. Thing. I mean, I'm and and um, and the other thing. Well, three things is one is people are willy nilly do what they want. Buoys, swim rafts, mooring buoys. I mean, we got to get to a point where we have an ordinance, that, you know, that's, that's this, you know, yeah, Nick's Cove. I mean, Paul Lupa, whoever, Lupinacci puts in a no wake sign. And Nick's called he his own no wake sign. Yeah. What's this bullshit? Yeah. The guy next to Beverly's has got these swim buoys coming all over. I know. Yeah. You got, uh, and they went, got, got loose. Sandy Beach just by the, this willy nilly, a couple of lifeguards go out and throw buoys out. I that saw. Are like, that are like too far out. Yeah. After the show, I pulled them way in. They're at the, they're at the ice sticks now. And that's plenty. Oh, yeah. I mean, well, I mean, if we, Look at, I mean, case in point, look at that pontoon boat. Got the pontoon boat. And they, I mean, they said that wasn't a navigational head. Deep said it wasn't. I mean, I agree with you, Peter. Like, we looking at a lot of the other towns. We need to have, at a minimum. Have, well, they do. At a minimum, I created. Have our old seat. And have an ordinance. I and mean, we should be able to write these things up and get them passed by the towns. And, well, remember, Peter Francis wants to meet again, but that's what he was supposed to help do. Hmm. So you had a little authority. Yeah. I also Perfect. made this thing here up that I know, like that. Yeah, it's like a sticker. We stick on a buoy, you stick on a dock. Now it, you know, it doesn't, it's a little sneaky. It's a notice of requested director. Yeah. It doesn't say like, you know, people's name, you know, Larry Grella, uh, Deer Island, buoy out too far. Now and then check yeah. navigation lines. Please Love move that. your buoy in. Yeah. And stick a big orange sticker on what's his name? Uh, Matt Byrne can make up yeah. orange fluorescent stickers. Okay. And put them on stuff. Yeah. Well, you know, can and I, um, and yeah. we'll keep track of. It. I mean, I don't know if we can do this. I I, I don't know if it's not, but I mean, it's only it's basically saying it's it's requesting. It's requested. That's no, the way to so do it's it. Kind of a sneaky way, rather than have. Right. I think it's right. But I want to talk about Ban the uh, inland wetlands. I've been trying to do two simple things, and I had such fights with Mark Garris, whatever his name is. That one. Oh, Skelton. Stand. They came to with them on the meeting. All I wanted to do was to, to allow or make people put the name of your, or the number of your house on your dock for Marco, emergency. Marco Island. Simple. And require a permit. I mean, people, not the ones we know, but people are putting in stuff they shouldn't do. Mm -hmm. And there's no, nothing we can do about it. You're right. This is one of them. You know, I mean, even White Memorial, I mean, the uh, well, there's a bunch of we don't have to hash this over. No, I, the fact I of the think, matter is, we got to get more right. teeth because we have to uh, have are more we just teeth. relegated to sticking buoys in and dealing with the jams. I mean, well, the way the way the ordinance, the way the is written right now, yeah, the way it's written, we're supposed to take care of invasive weeds, which we don't do. Yeah, I had know? a long talk with the guy who works for the connect, um, maybe the guy that does our um spraying for spiders. Oh, yeah, he goes to your house, yeah. You know, have you met him yet? Oh, yeah, no, no, I don't really well. He Candlewood Lake. Yeah, Candlewood Lake Authority. He's on the authority. Yeah. He told me they are really strict. Yeah. And they work overtime. They go out and they can, they used to have guns. They don't have guns anymore. But they can tell people things and they can tell them to stop and they can give them fines. Fines is another thing. Well, that's that something matters. we always talk about. You know, we always spend, we had, I had to break up into some little subcommittees and like Mike Chiquetti's the lawyer. You got to be able to. And you know, work over the winter with come up with something. I like your idea, Peter. I mean, Canewood Lake yeah. honestly is so easy because it's it's owned by First Light. Right. I mean. Oh yeah, that's a whole. I mean, that takes it to a different. But they've got five towns involved yeah. too. They're crazy. But They're yeah, crazy over there. Yeah. The other thing is number three. I mean, I don't yeah. mind Connecticut water sports. I think. It's... But the fact that I don't that, think it's right. We should profit. Are you kidding me? 
They got five rentals now. I mean, five. I'm sitting there, you know, I'm, I'm and there's a there. list of 70 people I'm, waiting for a slip. I'm this is on, not right. I'm sitting on my, I'm talking about this operation out there. I'm sitting I on know. my dock on a weekday. It used to be quiet. Now he's got three or four boats running constantly. Which I, I'm fine with. I'm not going to try to stop that. But I'm not should, so crazy. We about should it. charge him two thousand dollars or something. We ought to come up with some kind of friendly commercial charter. I think it encourages. Guy I, I don't think it's right that he has couple of slips no, from other slips. people. I was talking to Colin. I'm not even worried about the slips. I'm talking about his his I use know. of the lake. He's basically he's whoring the lake. I mean, well, they kicked him out of Candlewood. There's, there's not a boat on the lake on a weekday, and you see. Uh, or his boats running around. I know. Now, I mean, he employs a lot of kids. I have no problem. I don't think we should, we should stop him. But he's I think he's going to expand. But I think we <laughs> should charge some kind of a. We got to have the right again. It's back to our. It's back to our our charter. I mean, we got to have the right to have, require registration, safety inspections. Well, I think we've got to. I think we've got to just rewrite our charter and be able to get it passed. I mean, I think we have to take our existing charter and let's rewrite it. Because that's the only way we're going to move forward. We should look at we what should, we have now. That, we should also look at your inland wetlands, dock wrecks, and stuff like that, and see what what they are. Why don't those just get combined? Why, why we should they... combine them. So but I do, th but I do think. I mean, some of the dock stuff also should fall under like planning and zoning. It always should have been planning and zoning. It shouldn't have been dock. Nobody they want didn't want to bother. I think it should be banned in like authority. You know why? Because I think we have to have the ability to you know let a. Uh, and MERS have a longer dock than me. But he's got no water, and I got water. We've got to have some subjectivity. I, no, I agree. Yeah, I totally agree. You know? yeah. I agree. Um, I agree. Or Richardson's. I mean, they should have a dock. Their their dock regulation would be different than mine because they takes it takes ninety feet before they get to their knees. But we're, the regulations now so, are overall square footage, not length. Well, yeah, so you know, eventually length oh, yeah. rises square footage. So yeah, it's one. I mean, no. So, like Bobby, like Bobby Labon, he's the first to admit he's over the regulate the square footage right now. Yeah. You know, but I, my bigger pet peeve is I don't think it's in terms of square footage. The issue that I have, I agree with the, the necessity for dock regulations. My beef with it is I don't think it's right that and I'm that Peter Longo who has. 200 feet of waterfront Absolutely. has is required can only have a 300 square foot dock and somebody who's has 20 feet of waterfront or 15 has the same rights well mark sapone seems to have enough yeah but there's a good example well, that's a good example why not right next door tom like on his well, pathway he shouldn't even have a dock his dock is he's got like eight feet but so, but you have no setback rules. No, I the whole the dock regs are very, very bad. No, I agree with the, I agree with the numbering thing. I the one thing I will say is, and you know this is, if we're going to go down that road, let's be consistent in terms of like, right color the numbers or placement because Warmog, as you know, has that regulation, yeah. but you can use any number you want. No, I think they should be the where same. Highland Lake. They're all they're all color coded. That's what they should be. Yeah, yeah I agree. With that. Now, another thing I wanted to tell everybody today, there's a very big issue of well, the hydrilla. It, they found it in the Connecticut River. It's been terrible. It's awful. It's worse than the fan ward. There was a fishing tournament in the Connecticut River. Two weeks later, the bass fishing tournament was at Twin Lakes. It's there. It's around. We have to be very cautious of this plant. It's worse than the fan ward. It's invasive. It's scary. And there's no treatment for it. Uh, chemical. Or the hydrilla. Well, that's another issue. The whole boat washing. We have no... We that's have, what. That's where I was going to go there. with this. Launches that launch is a joke. Well, but that, they don't look at anything. But we have so many launches. I know. That's true. That's true. Anyway, so I, I think we yeah. should. It's a good start. I think, with a, I think it's a well, great plan. A list of, I like you know, it. Uh, the winter projects. I do, but I think we have to start with the ordinance. Ordinances for sure. Because that's going to set us up well for the ordinance. For next year. Kind of vague with, well, it's yeah, very vague right now. But yeah. not only it's vague, but it's also not even, you know, talks about applicable it's anymore. It's a, I know. Talks of, yeah. So I mean, Bantam Lake Authority just started, just did stuff because nothing, nobody else was doing it. I think, I don't know. Yeah. I mean, a key, a key starter ought to be safety on the lake. 
That's right. Mm -hmm. Totally. Which includes lake level, speed limits, navigational hazards. I mean, kind of safety is kind of your umbrella. Mm -hmm. I mean, we should, we should be, be able, able to work. hire people. We should be able to train. Yeah. People but, going on the, we got a boat. Yeah. And it's running great. Peter and I arrived cruising. Yeah. We used it a few times. Got to do the buoys. All right. All right. Can I get a motion to adjourn? Yes. Peter, okay. thank you for doing Second. that. That's very good. I'll pull up and see if we can get Larry here.